Okay, so now I have my length of ribbing worked up and I just need to decide what I'm going to do with it. I'm going to make a sleeve, so I am folding it in half and I'm going to seam my short edges with my yarn needle and a long tail I have cut. So this method you can use for uh, the bottom of the cuff of a sleeve, you can use it for the bottom of a hat, or you can leave yours uh, open and long and it, you can just sew the whole thing onto like a finished um, rectangle for a sweater or something. So ribbing is a pretty useful skill to have and uh, there are lots of different ways to attach it or start or finish with it. So we are going to be starting with this for our sleeve section. So I'm just folding my short ends in half and then I'm going to use a mattress stitch to sew it together and I want to just make sure I match up my stitches, stitch for stitch here and here. Okay, so. You can use a mattress stitch or a whip stitch. A mattress stitch seems to be the most favored as it gives you a nice flat join. So once I get that stitch locked in there, I'm just going to go back and forth like so from a mattress stitch, seaming it. Try to make sure I keep them lined up. just weave away my ends. All right, so now I have a cuff like so and I am going to attach my yarn on the top here somewhere, usually close to the seam but not exactly on it, usually before it and then I go across and then you can sing, you can crochet around in the round and grow your sleeve piece or your hat if that's what you're making. That's how you do uh, bottom-up ribbing to get started.